Welcome. In front of me is a Vivo X300 Pro and today I will show you how you can enable and set up your portable hotspot. So, to get started you will want to swipe down from the top of your screen like so which will bring down your notifications and toggles and then swipe down once again to extend the list of visible toggles. Now we're looking for the hotspot toggle which for me it is visible right over here but if you can't find it on either this or any other page you might need to add it yourself and you can do so by clicking right here on this pencil finding the toggle somewhere below here on also one of the pages holding it and then dragging it over to the top dropping it and then make sure you click on the check mark and obviously this will keep the added toggle right here so once you see your hotspot here first time around hold it this takes you to the settings. Now the reason you want to navigate into the settings is because under the hotspot configuration you have a password. Now this password is randomly generated and as you can see it's a jumbled mess of letters and numbers. Now I recommend just straight up getting rid of it and then setting up your own new password which will need to have at least eight characters in length. There we go. So your password can be super simple if you want to, it doesn't really matter all that much. It's a hotspot, so it's not like it's going to be running all the time. And while we're here, let's quickly also talk about a couple other options. So, we do have the option to use Wi-Fi 6. Uh, now, I do want to point out Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E are two completely vastly different things. Even though they both have a name uh, of Wi-Fi 6, 6 is technically just a Wi-Fi that uses 5 gigahertz while so as you can see right here Wi-Fi uh, 5 gigahertz band while Wi-Fi 6e on the other hand side uses 6 gigahertz so and this doesn't seem to be the case right here obviously now this will matter if uh, you actually want to get kind of the fastest network possible and all that stuff you could just use the 5 gigahertz one basically Wi-Fi 6 um, or uh, if you don't know like what to choose here I would recommend keeping it at the lower one 2.4 now the simple explanation here for for the AP band slash the uh, Wi-Fi 6 is that uh, basically 2.4 is the original kind of Wi-Fi um, frequency so it's used by basically every device that has Wi-Fi. Now Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz one or more aptly named Wi-Fi 6 is a newer one. Now that won't be used by every device. So if you select right here that you want to broadcast the signal in 5 gigahertz and you're trying to connect to this hotspot with an older device, maybe like a laptop from like several years back, uh, you might not see this hotspot at all. If the device doesn't support Wi-Fi 6, it just will not see uh, the hotspot at all. And in this case, if you have such a problem, you just go back here and change it back to 2.4 and that will fix your problem. Now, one more thing to add here is that when selecting this, in reality, most people don't have super blazing fast internet on their phone. So you should probably get away with the 2.4 without much of a problem. The only time I would maybe recommend changing this to a faster one is if you're a very congested area where you have a lot of different uh, Wi-Fi signals and you have some kind of interference with, between your device that you're trying to use this internet on and the broadcasting device, which is this one. Anyway, uh, once this is all set, which I actually don't think I changed the, uh, saved the changed password. Let me quickly check. Yep, I didn't. Let me just redo that so anyway once you change the password make sure you click on the check mark right here to save it otherwise you end up with uh, the same problem i just did so now find the toggle and instead of holding it you're just gonna simply tap on it to turn it on now once you're done using it i believe you can wait and it will automatically turn itself off let's see more hotspot settings and yep there we go auto off when no device connected so this one is actually no device connected uh, which uh, is a little bit different. So keep that in mind that your hotspot only turns off when a device that you're connecting to with it 
is the disconnected from it. Uh, now, um, in any case, if you have your phone and the other device that you connect constantly to it uh, near you, it means that it wouldn't really disconnect from it. So you will need to turn off that hotspot yourself and you can do so by tapping on a toggle once again. Otherwise, this will basically run as long as the other device is near this one and connected to it. And by it running in the background, it will waste your phone's battery. So anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.